I thought I'd uh, do uh, two readings uh, today. The first reading is from uh, Saint Luke, the Gospel of Saint Luke, uh, um, chapter seven, beginning at verse thirty-seven. And the second reading is from uh, Saint Mark, uh, chapter sixteen, beginning at the first verse. St. Luke, chapter 7, verse 37. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that uh, Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointing them with the point. Now when the Pharisees which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. That... Uh, That's a similar context. So what, what what we've just read here is Saint Luke, uh, chapter seven, verse thirty-seven, beginning at verse thirty-seven. Um, and behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner. Um, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought uh, an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now, uh, when the Pharisee, which had bitted him, saw it, he, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. So, we'll stop right there. Verse 39. Uh, so, the context... Um, the, the context resembles the, the manner of death of John the Baptist, except, except one thing, uh, history never repeats, okay? So, I, 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 believe, I, I believe by the time uh, this narrative happens, uh, John, the Baptist, John the Baptist would have been already dead. So. 
history does not repeat okay uh, that's um, that, that, that that's about all that I have to say on this one and then um, then then we have the gospel of st. Mark chapter 15 I believe I said um, so it's but we we know what happens in Mark 15 and 16 okay so and um, Mary Magdalene and uh, Mary the mother of Jesus uh, they were the first people to witness uh, the resurrection of Christ uh, so It's interesting, um, so, how can I put this, uh, can, so, a question that, a question that uh, I thought about for, for a while, I didn't, I didn't dwell into it too much, can, can Satan himself repent, okay, and the answer is he can't obviously <laughs> uh, but humans can humans can repent now <clears throat> um, look I don't um, I don't have um, I've, I've been talking to various people some of them working in law and order or something and um, they, um, they they have interesting tricks of um, for for making people feel guilty in law and order. Uh, they have tricks for spotting if a person uh, is guilty. You know, it's it's good. They 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 they're good professionals. You know, but. Um, once a person once a person has a blue flower a forget-me-not flower a masonic forget-me-not flower if they have that one they don't perceive phenomenologically phenomenologically speaking they don't perceive guilt in the same way hello Thank you. They don't, uh, in, in other words, let me rephrase this, so, if people have killed, and this happens in an organized fashion, and they, they're out there to do this, as you'd, uh, I don't know, as you'd have breakfast, as you'd have coffee and tea in the morning, uh, then um, feelings are distorted, okay? And I, I guess this is where my knowledge ends and I don't have an intuition for what these demonize, because that's what they are. That, that is what they are. I, I don't have an intuition for what these demonized creatures feel.